Hello everyone, my name is Avanita and welcome back to another episode of Dress in the Sky, second chapter. And today we are going to the next chapter, which is chapter 9. Let's go, shall we? The last episode has so many dialogues and it's just unbelievable. Hopefully this time, we can actually play. <laughs> That's the stabilizer wings, a sword. Helm, I'll start the full speed and set course for the floating city of the lake. Yes ma'am. What shall we do it if the enemy attempts to intercept us? Good question. We may need to engage them depending on the ferocity of the attack, but I want to prioritize landfall. Understood. Also, don't worry about mincing words. Regardless of our ranks, aboard this ship, I am your gunnery officer. I am yours to come in. Understand? Huh, I didn't know Miller called man an orbital ship gun. He trained in the Imperial Arm with most advanced armor division. His weight is poorly sourcing appearance. He is quite capable as a gunner. I'm sorry my appearance doesn't match my skills. Oh no no, that's cool actually. And uh, when did you get a chance to change Olivier, uh, Prince Oliver? I thought you were coming aboard as a representative of the Empire. Ha ha ha, that my friend was but a front. However, once this is over, my search for love, freedom, and finery shall be at the end. Until then, at least I wish to dress and be dressed as I please. To you, I shall always be Olivier. Ha ah, dressing up for the funeral, huh? Uh, what will the people of Erbonia say if they would knew? Well, so far they done. I cannot say I care in the slightest. How about it, my good reporters? Would you care for a scandalous tell-all interviews with an Erbonian prince? This guy really doesn't care at all, doesn't he? Classic Olivier. Hang on, he's serious. Oh, I better get a lot of picture then. Please, I beg you. Do not take any of the nonsense coming from his mouth seriously. Uh, that aside, how come you two are coming alone, Niall? Wait, if I may guess, Grimmer wished for you to ride along as you did during the incident with the dragon. Get it in one, your highness. Her majesty put it a good word for us with Brigadier General Bright. He allowed us to come along as a war correspondent. I got lots of pictures of you being amazing at the gate, Princess Claudia. I'll show you them when they are developed. Well, thank you, Dorothy. How does she manage to suck the seriousness out of the room every time? <laughs> oh yeah, Grandpa, is our zero field generator okay? Yes, it's working fine for the moment. Assuming nothing happened, it should get us to that flying city easily enough. Uh, one sec. So if something does happen, all we got is prayers? Oh yes, without the generator, we crash. No question, the impact could certainly kill us all instantly. Ugh. What the subsequent explosion world? Professor, you really know how to calm a girl's fears. Thanks. <laughs> Where to contact? I have ships on an intercept course. Incoming enemy. Here they come. This looks like the high speed interceptors that were locked up on the glorious. Not really bothering with the stealth at this point, are they? I'm the main gun and maintain full speed. Now get only the ships that have struck our course. We will focus on breaking through. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come on, another dog fight. The soundtrack is amazing.
Let's see the firepower of our sail. One shot. Damn, son. Bogus 1, 2, and 5 disabled. 3 and 4 are disengaging. It did it! Fantastic. Goodness me. So, this is what the feature of aerial warfare looks like. Hmm, the main gun is incredible. It has quite a bit of power, but virtually no recoil. Even for an herbal weapon, it's fantastically accurate. Ah, of course it is! To be honest, I would have liked to mount some point defense guns with radar track as well, but. Well, one project at a time, I suppose. Ready to contact. Oh, all this. Contact is 250 hours in length, approaching at 8 o'clock. That called the MP. And here comes the glorious. Just so, you know anything about the performance or armament of that thing? The Arsal can easily outmaneuver and outrun it. But it has gigantic main cannons and large batteries of point defense guns. There's no way we can attack it directly and leave. Blast it! There's the 4 o'clock and flying speed! Lux, get us over the city and avoid fire from that monster's gun. Aye aye! That is pretty loud. Holy hell! This is awesome! This is like a big boss, you know? The big boss fight. Damn, it's such a big cannon. Missile. Wow. A lock on missile. Or a home missile. Have we successfully outmaneuvered it? I... I think we are out of glorious firing range. Phew. That was scary. I think about half the nerves in my body are now shot, yes. Yeah, my heart's about to burst from my chest. Still, there's not much else the enemy can do to us at this point, right? No, we shouldn't let our god down. Yeah, the society has a bad tendency of ignoring stuff like common damn sense. We need to watch out until the second we land. There's an opening in the cloud ahead. We are entering we are entering the floating island airspace. Look at that. Holy hell, it is a city. It's more bigger than you expected when you can see it in the ground. Holy hell, no wonder why they call it Flying City. I thought it was just an exaggeration, you know? Damn. This is awesome. We're in over to Flying City, ma'am. Wow. All these dragons. This is the Jewel of Ancient Zemuria. 
Even more mind blowing than I imagine. Ah, look at that enormous tower like structure. I'll put a good money on that being an important part of the island. If you're going to land, I'll put them near that, Captain. Good idea, Professor. Echo, anything on the radar? The Corius. One woman. No enemy contacts within 15 seals. We seem to have left the Corius in our dust, ma'am. Good. Lux, slow to one third and begin landing. Put us down near that tower. Aye, ma'am. Huh? Dirty? If you are the photo cards already, girl, I swear. Ah uh, no, I have plenty of that. But isn't there something weird over there? What? What the? Oh no way! What in the world? Oh no way! Oh no! Seems like someone chasing us again, and it seems like another droid thing. Let us see then. Oh, it's Louis. What will you do when your wings of hope are ripped from your back? Oh, that is very bad. Yep, one engine got killed. And it seems like we are going to have a rough landing, everyone. Please hold on tight. We are falling real quick. There's a the water, right? There's a the water in there. That we should be able to survive, I think. What happened? Did we fail in the water? Final chapter! Trails in the Sky. That's the title drop. So, yes. Uh, like, you okay? Uh, hmm. Ah. Ah, good. You're awake. Are you alright? Are you hurt? No, I. I think I'm fine. Bang my elbow, but yeah, I'm okay. But everyone else. I'm um, not dead, at least. Ugh. Oh. I'm, I'm fine. Well, it was thrilling, if nothing else. You remember the other half of my nerves? They're all quite gone now, thank you. That's the closest I've ever brushed its shoulder with that, I think. <laughs> No, no, I can't eat that much. Or the... Guess I have to be grateful she ain't hurt. Dirty, wake up! Left them somewhere! Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, Mile. Major Fender, how about you? As well as can be expected. Nothing. Stems broken over here. I am unhurt, ma'am. I am okay. I thought we are goners. A real miracle. Or perhaps it simply let us live. That's right. The one writing that thing, that was. Yes, it was Louis, no doubt. Son of a. In that case, I'm certain he stayed his hand. If he really wished to, he could have torn us to pieces. Kinda not sure how to feel about us about that. At any rate, where are we? It looks to be somewhere on the periphery of the island. We should step out and take stock of our station. Labor Arc. Wow, we are in the age. Oh wow! It's really pretty. Oh wow, so many pictures. 
Uh, dirty. Let me load all your photo quotes into 5 minutes, alright? All right. Gotta admit, this isn't what I expected at all. This is less like a city, and more like a garden. I wonder, perhaps this is like the city parks in certain large cities. It does sort of feel that way, looking at it. You have never heard of a city park so huge that you can see the end of it in any direction. The scale of it does overwhelm. Sick! Sick! Thank goodness! I was afraid you've been hurt or godless. Don't worry, we are all fine too. Ah, I see. Thank you. Apparently, we have crashed on the easternmost side of the city. I'm still wondering how Chloe understands our language. And the Chloe is stuck on the exact opposite side. The damage to our side looks worse than it actually is. The engine themselves are virtually untouched, and the flight field generator mostly just need to be beaten free or with the range. The problem least lies in a lot of our finder system, our stabilizer for starters. Ironically, we can blow forward just fine, but hovering steadily would be an issue as things stand. I see. Our first order of business need to be organizing everyone we can for repairs then. I may be an outsider here, but I will help in any way re you require. Thank you, Fender. That will solve the problems with our, our sale, but our real struggle will be locating the Aureal in this massive city. Especially since it seems likely our friends in the society are already here. Yes, if they claim the Aureal, who knows what they may do with it. Given everything they've done until now, you have to imagine it will be nothing good for anyone else. We need to get out there and find a way to stop them. No come, let's do that idea here. We should get moving right now. Trying to run off in multiple small groups will just be chaos though. I think it would be wisest to use a single up exploration team. Yeah, I agree. And the first thing we gotta find is some kind of powered means of getting around the city. Trying to walk will take forever. What is it, Joshua? It's nothing really. Anyway. The exploration team is going to need backup. Ideally, we should have people ready to swap in and out as soon as the team returns to the R sale. A good idea. I'd like to join in myself, but right now, I need to oversee the R sale repairs. Let's go ahead and decide who's sleeping first. Oh yes, Chloe, of course. And... Oh damn, you are Olivier. I need, I need to level you up first. Alright, Asal, your group of four will explore the city. Do remember that we have no idea what's out there, society or otherwise. Don't do anything too foolish. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll be looking for a way around the city ahead of anything else. Good luck to you then. Everyone else will remain behind on the standby and help repair the our sale. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, that reminds me, one other small mercy. The certain phenomenon doesn't seem to be happening here on the island. Thank goodness, I'm sick of not being able to use my art. Your tactical arms should work just fine away from the sale, even with a handheld zero field generator. Really? Well, hey! Grandpa, how can you tell? Well, truth to be told, the biggest casualty of the crash was the RCL ZFG. But even with it in pieces, all our other robot systems are operating just fine. Mother Graham's theory seems to have been right on the mark. Right, the Ariel neutralized foreign herbal elements, but if we can get into the island, we surely can be foreign, right guys? Yes, I'm willing to guess it can tell the difference. Well, yeah, talk about small mercies. Going out there without any arts or anything would be kinda harsh. I take it that means the herbal workshop tools are also functional. Oh yes, everything survived the crash just fine. If you need your orphans tune up, just say the word. Got it! I suspect we'll be stopping by a lot. Alright, the main team is back, let's... We have Chloe, Joshua, Estel, and... Olivier. I love this team combination. Okay then, is everyone ready to take a look around us outside the ship? Yes, let's be off. 
Sorry, Sal. I actually need to prepare something from the ship storeroom. Something to help if I need to sneak around again. Could I ask you to wait a bit? Ah, oh, oh, sure. Do you want some help? Sweet things a, a little? No, it's sort of a fun person job. I don't think it will take more than 30 minutes or so. Could you wait in the lounge until then? Well, okay. Huh. Do not tarry for long, just away. A man, you are a dude of many talents, but lying any one of them. I'm sorry, lying to Horizon. I think the one you should apologize to eventually is Estelle. Anyway, you are sure? If I'm right, this could backfire and, uh, mess you up, like, badly. Yes, I've made my decision. Kevin, Father Kevin, please, you're the only one who can help. Alright, alright, no need to lay it on that thick. Come on, that little light ain't gonna buy us much time. Let's get to the medical bay. It's just we're gonna be a cyborg. <laughs> I wish. Yusua, you're done? Sorry to keep you waiting. That took a while. I don't mind, but... Yusua, are you okay? You look... tired. Unless I'm crazy. Some of it took a lot of concentration. Don't worry, I'm fine. Well, if you say so. Let's get going then. I need to buy a lot of ingredients. Give me all of the ingredients so I could make a lot of food. Let's buy a lot of their alcohol. Like, uh, Borden. Sure, why not? There we go. And. Let's buy if it's charged. And yeah, I'm going to set the armaments and the equipments for Olivier, and yeah, I will see you later once I'm finished the preparation. Alrighty, so yeah, I'm done. Now, let's be off, shall we? I need to level up Olivier first before moving on into main goal. And where are we? Where do we climb? How can I get out from here? There it is. Alright, what is this? Nothing. This place is pretty huge. Where should we go here? Hello. Hmm, here? I guess so. Well then. Park block, Calmore, Calmer, Carm, Calmore, Calmore. I don't know. It's beautiful. Ah, I've searched for beauty, and now I find it. I'm not even sure how to put this. It's sort of hard to believe we are in the sky, you know. The ancient Sumerian culture was more than just its technology. It seems they had a great understanding of how to use their technology too. Impressive. Now where's the monster? I want to level up Olivier here. Oh, an elevator. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Let's climb down. Oopsie doopsie. Oh. How amazing! Ah, what an overwhelming view! The city is this big? Hey, we are sure no one still lives here, right? I don't think so. I have to imagine everyone left before the city was sent to that other dimension. In fact, I imagine the ascensors of modern liberalians came from this place. Wait, so like my great great whatever live here? And we never knew? That... Actually, it makes some sense. There have always been so few traces of old Zimuria, not just in Liberal, but anywhere. If the city just disappeared... Ah, of course. Those who live in the sky would not leave traces up on the ground. And then their homes in the clouds is removed from this mortal call. This place seems to get crazier with every step it takes. Anyway, the view here is really pretty. But what is this place, you think? It feels different from the rest of the area. 
Given the nature of this area so far, it may just be a scenic view, but it does feel a bit more important. Hmm. That screen over there looks like something you are meant to interact with. Let's take a look at it. Can I go climb down please? Yes, good. I want to check each floor first before I climb up again or going down. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. We can get in? Nope, it is locked. So I guess we can come back then once we got the key. Let's go climb up again. Seems like there's supposed to be a platform in here. Hmm. Hello Rail. West Calmeria Station. The Halo Rail system is currently operating at its limited capacity. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please select a service from this terminal. Because will be a citizen, ID checks are not required for service at this time. We were our transit authority. Hmm. What the Halo Rail system? Some kind of rail versus transit system, I guess. And given that there's a transit authority involved, I would guess this floating island is called Liver Arc. Oh yeah, the Liver Arc. Hang on, labor? No way! Wait, I think we've just discovered the origin of the name of the liberal. Holy us! Personally, I find the gospel friends more interesting. The way this is written, it must have been ubiquitous. Everyone would have had one. Ah, so this is a lost technology. I mean, of course, they already explained it many times, but this is like far more future. It sounds like they serve as identification and portable. Personal link to the Aurel. Gah! This is too much to attack it at once! Anyway, it looks like we don't need the gospel to do stuff here. Let's see what we can do. Right, I think I can get to the least approval surface if I push this. Oh, yes. Alright, let me read. Oh, we can activate it. Uh, not that. Online shop? <laughs> wow! There's an online shop? You serious, mate? <gasps> Whoa, interesting. Unbelievable, there's an online shop going on here. Damn, 1000 for that. I am tempted to buy it, actually. Yes, release, please. I think this is the key that we need to unlock. Or the floor below. Unlock. There we go. That should be it. Locks and gate in session facility have been removed. Tunnel is now usable. Perfect. But I still haven't finished reading it yet. Oh, I guess that's it then. Uh, shall I go down there or shall I go up first? You know what, let's save it here. And then we go down there. Hopefully this does not progress the story. Oh, it is not. It is a tunnel. Interesting. Oh, what's this? That is a weird monster, holy hell, what the hell is that? That is very HD compared to our character. <laughs> Dark Lamb, ancient subterranean monster, absorbs prey HP. Let's just hit it then. Oh wow, there's a lot of HP you stole there. Alright, I think I'm going to level up Olivier here. What are you? Weather seat. Let's use the Shadow Spear. Alright, everybody is using an art. Alright, I think this should be it, right? Perfect. Good. Oh, not yet. Lucky I give her equipment 
that can prevent any abnormalities. And that should be it. Alright. New monster again? Come on. Um, two ways. Let's go here. And it's locked. Let's go to here. Climb up here. Let's just follow the little road. And that's the same monster. Oh, chest. Monster appeared. Alright, it's only you guys. That's easy. Oh, be careful. They stole the scrap points, and I don't like it at all. Look at those. Oh man, stop stealing our craft points. This monster is very annoying. What is that? Phenomenon, an ancient amphibious monster. Without hesitation, whoa. Does that mean without delay or something? That's scary. Ooh, so close. There we go. That was an EXP for Olivier. Dominion. This best for Ren. So for Jim. Is this your way of asking me out on a date? Um, uh, no. Let's see, what is Silver Gem? Max AP 15, whoa ho ho, that is a big one. Alright, let's progress it on. Nice. You look mighty familiar. Did we meet last game? Hmm, I, I guess, I forgot. <laughs> Why am I talking with the chest? I don't know. <laughs> It keeps going, oh my goodness, what the hell? Where are we now? <laughs> I'm lost. Terrible. You nearly tear the top of the chest off it since in your excitement to open it. Your face falls as you realize there's nothing inside. I feel like I am in the right road for the story to progress and I didn't like it. I want to go back. Bouncy Jim. As you reach into the chest, the lid suddenly snaps down. It's a thing you're alive! Kidding. Oh, you should've seen the look on your face. It just keeps going, oh my goodness. Where, where are we now? Bloody hell. And this freaking monster keeps showing up. Let's go back. Let's just go back. Let's go to here now. A chest. You'll be charged too. Sorry, but I'm cutting you off. Alright, so how about here? What is it? Hmm? Everything well? Then flip your lid. Flip mine. <laughs> and we get Recum Hearts. Hmm, I want to see... Let's use Recum Hearts once we encounter another monster chest. Curable. It's empty, but if you put your head in here, you can hear the ocean. But here? Serum powder. You can save the world, but you can't remember whether you've looted the chest once or not. Oh, hello. Alright then. Uh, what is it now? I guess this is the right time for me to use... The new S craft that Olivier get, right? Yeah, let's do it then. Alright, Olivier, reclaim heart, a raging barrage of shots that shatter the silence. Let's do that. Whoa! What the hell, Olivier? That's awesome. Damn! Alright! We can progress now? Okay, let's see what's 
ahead of us here. It's still going. When it's gonna end? I don't freaking know. I didn't plan for this long. Come on, what the hell is this? Where are we now? You finally! This. Residential block, cradle. This is a residential block? Oh, what a lovely city. I would guess this is where the ancients actually dwelt. Yes, this seems like a more of a residential area than our crash site is. Yeah, it's kind of nice and homey here, I guess. But you know, it just bothers me even more. Why did the resident open in such a nice city? It seems like a good place to find an answer to that question. We need to find a new route. Anyway, so shall we investigate? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to end it here, everyone. Thank you for watching. My name is Sonito, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And this is the final chapter. I am very hyped for it, for the final boss. And I think we are going to have a tough fight ahead of us. Because there's going to be a lot of enforcer's battles, and I bet there will be more than that. Like a giant machine, just like in the last game, you know? Anyway, that's all about it. I'll see you guys later, and have a nice day! Bye! See ya!